Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Progressive Discussions podcast, special segment of Mega Life 21 Mayhem. Happy St. Patrick's Day to everyone who is Irish in the world, uh, and uh, particularly uh, Irish Americans. I'm your host, James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21, and I am dressed for St. Patrick's Day with my Blackthorn Irish shillelagh and uh, the weapons grade version, of course, imported from Ireland. And I have a very special guest. We ha I have spe two special guests because this is sort of a variety show. This is very different from the normal shows that I do, the routine shows. This, is, uh, this show will contain much entertainment, uh, uh, lots of levity, and it will be a, a great mixture. I, I have back... Very proud to announce I have back the Renaissance Man Can Create and Undercover Bob. Gentlemen, well, first of all, let me get Kenny on here. How you doing, James? St. Patrick's Day to everyone. St. Patrick's Day. Actually, I had a ton of corned beef and cabbage last week, and I loved it, and I'm going to do it again. Because why? Because all these cheap bastards, all these restaurants out there, and bars and sports bars and pubs, they all stopped all you can eat corned beef and cabbage. Shame on you, you cheap, stingy bastards. I used to go to Pub 46 in Clifton. He stopped it. You think I'm gonna go in there and just have one portion of corned beef and cabbage? I I can eat a ton of it. I need all you can eat. It was it was tender, delicious brisket of corned beef, and the cheap bastard ended it. Actually, everybody ended it, ended it. I'm not going to go in there and pay no seven, eight bucks for a corned beef sandwich. What are they, out of their mind? Oh, what are you, a manager from a wrestling federation? No, I just like to eat. I have a big appetite. I need my protein. Man. because That's how I'm like a hummingbird. That's how I get all this enthusiasm and energy. Wow. I need to have all you can eat. Shame on you. You suck. I will not set foot in any of, your, uh, any of these uh, 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 sports bars and pubs in the northern New Jersey area until you bring back all you can eat corned beef uh, and cabbage. And I also used to go for all you can eat baby back ribs. Wow. And they ended that too. How about the buffets? Isn't there any more buffets? Yeah, but they, they put out garbage corned beef with all gristle and everything. Uh, I like that nice, tender, well-marinated brisket of corned beef. You know what? What a ripoff. You know, you know what I think it is? Uh, Mr. Can Create, I think when they first open up, they give a lot to the customer. And then I think over time, when they get very popular, they start to show disrespect for their customers, and they start giving you less and less and less. Right. It's greed, or maybe they're just scumbags. You know, or natural, naturally born cheap motherfuckers. They're bags. They're bags. Oh, by the way, this show, these shows are all uncensored. So I will give, I will turn the show over to the Renaissance Man Can Create, and Undercover Bob. All right, James. All right, all right. Cameraman, make sure you get a good bird's eye. James, uh, green shirt there. Get it. Okay, well, you know, I just landed from San Francisco, and I got my buddy here, Bob. I haven't seen Bob in a long time, so hey, tell me, Bob, what's new? New York, New Jersey, New Mexico, New Milford. Wow, really? Yes. Hey, Bob, where'd you used to, where, where, where are you from? Oh, I used to live in Halden, New Jersey. Oh, okay. So you don't live there no more? No, I don't. How come? It was getting too expensive. Oh, okay. So where are you living now? I live in West Milford in a garbage can. Garbage can? Yes, a garbage can. Okay. How do you get your food? From the ground. <laughs> From the ground, man. Yeah. You must have a lot of dogs coming and sniffing you. Huh? <laughs> oh, dogs love me. Really? <laughs> How about the cats? So so. Not what do you really. do? You fight over? The, do they? You fight over the food with them? Because you're in a garbage can, you know. No, but I like dogs, and the dogs like me. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, 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 undercover Bob. He he's not a caddy. He's not catty like the like the women in the office, you know. So you know he's not gonna have any 
And he's going to have problems with the cats because he ain't catty. Yeah, that's another guy over there. We don't know who he is, right, Bob? Who the no. heck is that guy? You Good know who boy. he is, Bob? Nope. Okay. Don't so worry about it. I, I just came to watch the program. Oh, so, Bob, how can we get in contact with you, you know? Me? Yeah, how can we get in contact with you? Oh, you can get in contact with me by landline phone. <laughs> landline? Why is it called landline? Because the lines are laid over the land. Oh, okay. Hey, I, I, Bob, you know what? I didn't know that. Since I haven't seen you, you know what I ran into last week? Who? Harry Good. Remember Harry Good? Yes, he was good. He was? He used yes. to go to parties, right? Yeah, I used to go to Harry Good's parties. Oh, wow. And he was good for, like, uh, masquerade parties with the mask. Because you got your mask on. You like wearing, like, special masks, right? Right. Okay. So, so what happened? You know, Harry Good used to tell me, you know, you used to like the thing he had the hair over the eyes. What used to happen when he, he did the hair over the eyes? Oh, when I see a man with hair over the eyes, it starts to rise. And when I see a man with a hat over the eyes, the same rule applies. Oh, okay. So when you seen somebody, okay, where you said hair over the eyes, yeah. okay, what else would you say? I would say, if I see a man in a mask, don't ask. Really? Yes. Okay, so if I did hair over the eyes, okay, and I start dancing, what do you think, Bob? Yeah, that's great. Yeah. But that's not hair over the eyes. That's hat over the eyes. Oh, okay. So if I go like this. I don't know if you can put hair over your eyes. Well, yeah, we'll try. It's supposed to say that cuts the cake, though. That cuts the cake. Yeah, you like that, Bob? Yeah, it cuts the cake. What's that supposed to mean, cuts the cake? To cut the cake means to enjoy or have fun wearing or seeing other people wear masks and costumes. Ah. Hey. Hey, undercover Bob, does this mean you like hairy women? No, sorry. You, you know, like, even if she has a hot-looking face, if she's got hair on her forearms or sideburns or a light mustache or, or a big a big bush, a big pubic hair bush that you could you could you could call landscaper and you can have it mowed. You won't you won't you won't you won't fool around with a chick like that? No. How come, Bob? Because I'm not a girl guy. You're not a girl guy? Then what are you? A girl guy. I'm just a guy. You're just a guy? Yeah. Girly guy? No, just a guy. Girly guy? No. Why not? Because I'm not the girl type. You're not the girl type? No, I'm not the girl type. What are you doing? Uh, Richard Nixon there? You, no. Well, yeah, you just did work your Nixon. Did yeah, you know but that? if you... Hey, hey, Bobby boy. If you were a caveman... It, it's relative. You, then you would you would like hairy women because the cave women is hairy, right? I guess so. Hey, now you just did Richard Nixon. Let's do that sign again. Yeah. Could you imitate him? No. The, these are quotation marks. You mean From I? Me? I am not a crook. You think you can do them? Try. It. Want me to try Richard Nixon? Yeah, man. Okay. I am not a crook. <laughs> well, that's not bad, Bob. Hey, Bob, why do you wear them sunglasses? So no one sees my brown eyes. Whoa. Oh, yeah, yeah. Speaking of eyes, you really like people's eyes, right? Yeah, I'm the eye guy. You're the eye guy, huh? Yes. What color eyes I got? You have green eyes. Green eyes, like the jacket. Yup. St. Patty's Day, right? Right. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Yes, the leprechauns would appreciate that. Hey, there's a leprechaun out there, Bob. You hear him? I hear him. What are you going to do about it? Check to see if he has green eyes. Oh, okay. I know that I, I, I know that cheap bastard wants me pot of gold, but he'll never get it. He'll never get me pot of gold. <laughs> maybe uh, lucky, maybe the lucky charms in his pants, in his pantalones, but ain't going to get no pot of gold. Hey. So who else you know that, you know, Rocco. Remember Rocco? Yes, what I remember. What color eyes he got? Rocco has doe eyes. Doe? Doe. What is Why he, do you call doe? What is he, a pizzeria for, uh, owner? Doe eyes are grayish green eyes. Wow. Hey, there ain't no doe eyes. Hey, if I get pizza and I see grayish green doe where my pizza pie, I'm not eating it. He's not eating it, Bob. No. Bob, who is that guy over there talking? You know that guy? Nope. Don't worry about it. I'm a stranger. I heard you're doing a show. I decided to come in. 
Wow. I don't know, man. Do you think maybe he's got to come in front of the camera, Bob? I would say so. Yeah, huh? No, my name is, uh, my name is, uh, I'm a chef. A chef? Yeah, my, my name is, uh. You don't even know his name, Bob. You know, no. I have a little magnesia here for a second. Hold on. Oh, come on, man. Take a pill. My name is, uh, 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 uh. Take a pill. Uh. Oh. I, oh, my name is, uh, uh, Chef, uh, Chef Dick Cummins. Wow, what a name, huh, Bob? Yes. Yeah, Short Cummins. Yeah. He, yeah. His, his brother Shorty, you know Shorty? No, I don't know Shorty. You didn't run into Shorty last week? Nope. Who'd you run into? That's a very good question. Wow. And you, don't all even, you don't even know, Bob. Well, like, where, where are you? Where are your friends? I mean, you still hang out with your friends? Don't have any to hang out with. Really? No. Wow. So what are you? So what are you doing in West Milford now? Hmm. Just living there. Yeah. Huh? Where? Out of garbage can, right? Right. What kind of food did you have the other night? Slim Jims. Slim Jims. <laughs> out of a garbage can? Yes. Oh, man, them people are cheap, huh? They don't give you no, like, a uh, Chef Boyardee, like raviolis with meatballs. Hey, and... hey, wait a minute. Excuse me, guys. My cousin is here from from Palermo, Sicily. He's also a chef. His name is Chef Carl Imari. Hold on. Hey, Carl, come here. Listen to the crap this guy's eating. Hey, uh, let me tell you something. What the hell's the matter for you? Why are you eating this a crap of this Slim and Jim? What do you eat out of a garbage you can for? That's not a real food. You have to eat a real food. It's not the difficult to cook. These American women complain about the cooking all the time. It is a very easy to cook. You know, you got to put everything on a low flame. These, these are people here, uh, are, are, these, are, these, are, uh, these American women, they put everything on a higher flame and they walk away and they get on the damn telephone and they, and they burn the food. Hey, Chef, let me ask you a question. Yes, yeah, so Carl see... Mari, to you. Mr. Mari, to you. Okay, Mr. Mari, I see you sitting there. Why do you scratch a lot? What do you got, fleas? No, no fleas. I, I, when I get enthusiastic and excited, I, I, I itch. Oh, yeah? You know what I think it is? What do you think I think you, you know Bob, and you hang out with Bob in his garbage can. You mean you think it might be a fleas? Yeah, man. And maybe a, a ticks, and maybe a... The... Oh, God forbid he has a crab of lice. Oh, man. <laughs> crab of lice. Crab of lice. Hey. Hey, you know, Bob, you've you got to start eating better. Hey, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, uh, undercover Bob. I noticed in the, in the, in the New Jersey, your fucking uh, food pantries you got in New Jersey. What a crap have they got in the food pantries. You cannot select what you want to eat. you got to take what they're giving you. You know, they wrap the package and whatever's in the package, you have to accept it. I don't think that's fair. Who the heck wants to craft a ma ma macaroni and cheese in a box? Bob, you know that, right? Because you get yeah. that out of the, 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 your box. You right? don't want no shit. You like it? No. Why? Because it tastes like, you know what? It's like a shrooms. What's it? All right, so Bob, what, what does it taste like? It tastes like... What does it taste like? Say it. Tell it what like it is. What does it taste like? What the heck is that? What the hell is that? Yeah, what's that? What's that? Is that yeah. the sound when you take a take a dump? Yes. <laughs> Let me tell you something. My fiber. Bob. I, I got a cold here, Bob. So oh. you know what I'm trying to say there, Bobby boy. Yeah. All what? right, so Bob, where are you heading off to now? Good question. Good question, man. Yeah. Wait a minute. If you live in a garbage can, right? Yeah. Well, then how far do you go within the distance of you living in a garbage can? 90 minutes. 90 minutes? How do you get there? By car. Wait a minute. You live in a garbage can and you got a car? Yes. Really? How, how does that happen if you live in a garbage can? With undercover Bob, anything could happen. Wow, you see, you see, now, now, now it's coming out with Bob, man. You know, you know, the undercover, the Bob here, he has a, I think he has a, a Google profile page. I think I saw I think it. I you're that. right. 
I think I saw him. So you people, you fans out of there that like this uh, this guy that goes e undercover Baba, you can find him on the internet and say hello to him. Listen, undercover Bob, uh, you know, like I said it before. I eat the proper diet, all the high fiber, organic, and non-GMO food. My shrooms is so big. When really? I take a dump, I have to use the plunger every time I take a dump Ooh. because it comes out like a log. You wow. know, it looks, looks like, a, like a torpedo sticking out of the water. Ooh. You got to eat better, you Americans. And you especially, undercover, Bob, eat at the Slim Jim and, and, the, and out of the garbage you can. That, that's got to stop. But you got to use... You gotta think about your health. Yeah, you hear that, Bob? Yes. You gotta think about your your health, man. So, Bob, what do you think about this? You like this, Bob? I love hat over the eyes. Wow! What happens like this, Bob? When I see hat over the eyes, it starts to rise. And when I see hair over the eyes, the same rule applies. Anything else you gotta tell me? When I see a man in a mask, don't ask. Jeez. Yeah, let me tell you something. I know this guy yeah, likes hairy women. He's got to like hairy women. He's bugging. He's got to interrupt you, right? Oh, well. What are you going to tell him? What can I tell him? Well, oh, talk to him. Well, I'm, we're both half Italian. Oh, okay. Well, well I apologize. I, really I, don't don't I, apologize. I didn't mean to interrupt you. I don't want to be known as a heckler, but I, I, I get the feeling... If you, you, you're so preoccupied with body hair, I, uh, I thought maybe you're like a hairy woman, but I guess I'm wrong. I hey, guess Bob, I'm wrong. I'll tell you one thing, Bob. Them and tiny guys, they really can talk, huh? Yep. Are you a big talker? Not really, because my other half is German. Ah, why? What's that deal with you being German? Oh, German? Yeah. Germans do things exactly right. They make things exactly the way they're supposed to be. Yeah, so what do they make? They make their bed? They make what? Their bed? Yes, they make their bed. Yeah, what else they make? Cuckoo clocks. <laughs> Cuckoo clocks? Anything else, man? Don't they make German Lugers and German cars? They do, but what they're best at is making shame masks. What the heck is that? Shame masks in medieval Europe. If you committed a minor crime, they'd lock an iron mask around your head for a couple days. Ah, really? Yes. Oh, thinking about that. Remember what you said with the stocks? What happens when they put them in the stocks? They tickle. they tickle the feet. Tickle the feet? How do they do that? Either with fingers or a feather. Yeah? You like that when they tickle the feet? I guess so. How come? I just do. They don't make no noises or anything? Well, they laugh. Yeah, how do they laugh? I guess. <laughs> what the heck is that? Hey, what the hell kind of laugh is that? My laugh. That's your laugh? Yes. Wow. Yeah, German Germans have the best scientists in the world. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, they are. They're advanced. Uh, uh, Is speak, they advanced? Speak, you see speak, that? Speaking of Germans... We're going to have a very special visitor right here. Oh, yeah? Who's that? All the way from Germany. It's going to be the one and only Krampus. Krampus. He's, on, he's on holiday because he only works during the Christmas season, the pagan f Christmas season. But uh, wait, he's, going to be, he's going to be a very surprised guest guy here. Oh, wow. Hey, you know, Bob, hanging out with you, I'm starting to scratch. Yeah. When's the last time you took a shower, man? The other hour. The other hour? Yeah. How about deodorant? You use deodorant? Yeah. What, what kind do you use? Let's see. Uh, I guess cyanide. <laughs> cyanide? <laughs> well, cyanide, I mean, somebody freaking lights a match. You know what's going to happen to you? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to end up in the graveyard. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> you don't want to do that, right? No. Hey, anybody ever come by your garbage can and just like uh, see you in there and just throw like a match in there? What would happen if, if that happened? Don't ask. Okay, what would happen if that uh, happened? Uh, you know, they lit your garbage can on fire. Then, I guess that would be the end of me. Yeah, huh? So if that's the end of you, then what happens after that? 
What happens after that? Yeah. Then it's off to don't, don't ask. Could you imagine yeah, if yeah, he, he was all he was, hey, he was a little quick with that answer over there. Hey, could you imagine could, could you imagine wow. if hey, this guy's he, a pain, Bob? Could you imagine if he forwarded after eating all those slim gyms when they threw the match in? Oh man, come on, man. You get constipated, right? Right? I would say so. Did you ever get backed up? A little bit. Oh, would you back up? My car. <laughs> Your car? Yeah. What kind, what, what kind of car you got? Uh, a Chevrolet. Wow, what year is it? 2009. Wow, 2009. So you do get around, huh, Bob? Yes, I do. I think you're a fake, man. I don't think you live in a garbage can. I think you live in a mansion. You do? Yeah. Yeah? Come on, man. You got a car. You're undercover. Uh, you, you sure you don't work like for the CIA or the FBI or something? No. What's the FBI stand for? FBI. <laughs> uh, let's see. <laughs> Fascist Baloney International. What's that mean? Fascist Baloney International. That means they're a fascistic organization full of baloney. Ah, well, I like the CIA. CIA. Let's see. They see with their eye and they say, Ed. What do you think of? Wow, come what on. What do you think man. of the Fonzie? You think of the Fonzie runs wow. with the CIA? Hey, here comes this guy again. You Salmonella. Hey, 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 Salmonella. Hey, you know why? You, 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 you know why I think it, You know why I think he lies? He lies about the garbage can of where wow. he lives. He's a cheap bastard. He lives in a mansion. He lives in a mansion. That's what I said. And he tells everybody he lives in a garbage can. Yeah, man. So, Bob, you, you, you like them other guys out there, even them talk show hosts and. Them people that try to like give you advice to be positive, you know what I mean? Yeah. Positive influence around TV. You're like them guys. I am. Yeah, do you know that? No, I didn't know. Don't you think it's time to give people back their money that you robbed from them? What did I rob? Yeah, my. The only thing that the only thing about me that robs is my name. That's right. He's undercover Bob. Hey, Bob, you know what? I don't want to really just... But I got to take your glasses off for him. Yeah. You don't mind, do you? Now I'll beat Senso Lokiali. Oh, man. Wait a minute. Hey, man, what the frick? They're glued on. What, what's, what's up with that? What do you have that glued on your face? Yeah, it's probably, a, probably German glue. German glue? All right, let me try it, okay? You don't mind, do you? No. Sure? Take them off. You sure? Try. Yes. You sure now? Yes. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Yes. Ready? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Easy. Oh I guess that was Italian glue after all. Uh, all right. Hey, excuse me. Wait, 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 wait. Calm down here. Bob, you're going to have to knock this guy out pretty soon. My right? other... Could beat him up? My other chef or cousin showed up. Oh, man. No, no, no. Hey, Bob, you tell this guy enough with his, the chefs. With the is, it, is it my cousin, the chef of Salvatore Monella? Hey. Sal, chef of Salmonella from the United States. Uh, but he's Italian uh, American. Macaroni. You know, he's got a chef named Macaroni. The chef of Salmonella yeah, is he's Italian. He's so Italian. He's, He's Italian American. He's got fleas, this guy. Hey, Salmonella, welcome. Hey, buddy. Uh, I haven't right, seen you in a long time. Bob. I would say. Yeah. Hey. Bob. Hey. How you doing there? I'm Chef Salmonella. Oh, man. And I'm undercover Bob. I'm Chef Salmonella. I'm from I'm from Alorai, New Jersey. And let me tell you something. What are you doing over there with that, uh, I like that, uh, court justice hat. So do I. Black and orange. Very uh very Halloweenish. I know. Alright. So you like that, huh? Very Halloweenish. Okay, you know what? You you asked this guy so many questions. We're we're gonna ask you where where you're a chef, right? Yeah. Right? That, yeah, that's right. Okay, so where's your place? My my place it's uh it's in Next uh, to Bob, he lives in the garbage can right next door. No, my place. Uh, let me tell you something, your wise guy. I live upstairs from my from my restaurant. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, you, he, Bob. He looks like one of them guys that smoke them big freaking cigars, man. You know, like from Courageous Cat yeah. and Minute Mouse, like Froggy. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, crazy. Why no crazy? Yeah. Oh, Froggy. Yeah, let me. Uh, you mean the you mean the guy that talks like this? 
Hey, hey, let me show you something on the cover bar. Let me, let, what the hell are you doing over there? Wow, wow, what are you doing? Let, let me tell you something. It's Froggy, see? This is Froggy. Hey, I don't take no Bob. crap from anybody. Bob, he's not Froggy. Hey, Bob, do you know where that voice came from? I have no idea. That was Eric G. Robinson. Yeah? Yeah, you had the big cigars and everything. Yeah. Did you like Courageous Cat and Minnie Mouse? Sort of. Yeah? What did you like about Courageous Cat and Minnie Mouse? I guess it was a pretty good cartoon. Nah, but yeah, but I mean, what, what, what? didn't they have their tricks up in that bag? The, and... uh, they did. Oh, similar to Felix. Oh, you like Felix the Cat? Yeah. What you like about him? Felix the Cat? Yeah. Because his shows were usually interesting and scientific. Oh, so you like that stuff. Yeah. Uh, you know what, Bob? I think it's getting kind of late. You know, I got it like, yeah, I got to move on. And this guy over here and his brothers, the chefs. No, Krampus just arrived. Oh, well, Krampus, whoever the heck that guy is. Bob, you know who Krampus is? I guess so. Well, who is he? The anti-Santa Claus. Anti-Santa Claus. He's, Krampus. And he's Krampus. Do you know what? Let me, hey, let me tell you who Krampus is. He's going to tell Krampus you. Krampus is a legend from Germany. Krampus, his job is to kidnap all the bad children and, and torture them. The kids that have been bad. And believe me, the United States has got lo loads of them. And he can't wait to talk. Yeah, I think you got a load in your pants there, pal. So that means there's a lot of cramp eye in the United States. Yeah, man. They're all cramped in, Bob. <laughs> huh? <laughs> cramp, cramp, cramp. Cramp. Okay. Yeah. Who's cramp? Cramp? Yeah. Maybe it's like ramp. <laughs> How about ramp? I don't know. Stamp. Oh, that cuts the cake. Oh, look at this guy, man. I think he, I think he likes to uh, likes to ramp all those hairy chicks. All yeah. right, Bob. You know what? I got, I, I got, I got to move on. Okay, this guy's coming my way, and you know I really don't like this guy. So you want to talk to him? Okay. All right, here he comes. All right. See you later, alligator. Goodbye. All right. Yeah, yeah. Hi, Krampus. Yeah, how are you? How are you doing? Very good. Uh, I am a Kr I'm Kr I am Krampus from Germany, and I would like to say that I never. Uh, uh, this is a, a a cornucopia of delights in the United States. There are so many rotten children here. It's unbelievable, uh, Mister Mister Undercover Bob. You know, I'm a legend from Germany. Um, Deutschland, and uh, I yes, I kidnap all the bad children, all the bad children, I torture them. I love to torture the bad children, the little spoiled bastards. In the United States, they are all spoil the coddled bastards. Let me tell you something. Yeah, let me tell you something. These, 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 are, these kids... The American, the, the young uh, American parents, they do not apply all the fashion discipline to these kids. They coddle them. They coddle them and they spoil them. They're afraid to say no to them. That's why, yeah, you have all these monsters. Yes, you have all these monsters running around disobedient. They, they take a tantrums when the parents go out. They can't have one moment's peace. They take tantrums. In, in public, they take their toys, they play on the floor so, so people can so, uh, slip on them and, 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 and get and hurt themselves. They, they tap you in the restaurant, they tap you on the shoulder all the time. They keep on saying, hi, hello, hi, hello. And they torment people. They bother strangers. Let me tell you something. It's not your children. It's your problems. It's, it's, it's. Your, your circus, your monkeys, your problems. It is not other people's problems that don't have children. You know, and it reminds me of this stupid sign they used to sell, baby on board, which means everybody on the road has to drive differently because you have a baby. You know who you are, no Schwarzenegger? And they, well, we're from the same region, just uh, more or less. And then they, they uh, yeah, they, 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 uh, they spoil them rotten. And, and, and then... You know, it's just, 
they take tantrums, they get their way, they cry, the mother runs in there right away, coddles them. Uh, 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 it's just non-stop, everything is about them. And then if the mother is, is, is not with the father anymore, and he uh, she has a boyfriend, the, f the fucking kids don't want to go to sleep. They stay up late. And the mother don't put them to bed because the single mother don't spank. They do not apply old-fashioned mm -hmm. corporal, pun corporal punishment, you know, to these rotten little monsters. And the poor guy waits and waits and he don't get laid. He don't get laid. He's there waiting and his, his balls are getting blue and bluer and bluer. And, and, and then the kids don't go to bed. And then when the kids are finally go to bed, then the mother says, oh, I'm too tired for, for any sex. I'm too tired. The kid is a cock-a-block the guy. Yeah, he cock-blocks the guy. And you know what? And, and, and for Christmas, are you kidding me? The, the children of the past used to be happy with simple toys. That, yeah, now they want expensive Expensive high-tech electronic toys, and and the and the poor father has to go in debt with the, with his credit cards, with his credit cards. He has to go in debt, and and it's unbelievable the amount of spoiled coddled yeah. children. Hey Bob, this guy never shuts up. Bob, what's up with that? You're asking me. Well, I don't I'm on, know, man. I'm, don't I'm, you give this guy the private Bob the talk here? All right, go ahead. Uh, yeah, Krampus. <laughs> One thing I can say about Krampus is he sure cuts the cake. Wow. That's one thing he does well is cut cake. Well, I don't know about cake, but I've been using this lovely moisturizer on my face. How does my complexion look to you? Good. Thank you. Thank you. The, uh, your friend is not too crazy about Krampus, the, 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 the greatest, the true superstar of the universe. And the true... The true representative of your pagan Christmas, your and that obese, a uh, uh, Chris Christie looking guy with white hair, the Santa Claus, you know he's another ass kisser, that kisses the asses of all the children. I wouldn't give him. I would give them petrified shit in the in the Christmas stocking because not too many children deserve to get nice presents. Especially in, in the United States. Yeah. Hey, oh. undercover Bob, you know what I think? What, what does he deserve in his mouth? Uh, teeth. Teeth. <laughs> He's got teeth, man. Don't you think he deserves a, a bar of soap in his mouth to clean up that mouth? Nah, this, this can, yeah, this thing can create friend of yours. He don't like to hear the truth. Yeah, Krampus is hitting a raw nerve with this... This can create, you know, he don't, people don't like to hear the realities, the realities of what's going on in today's society. Uh. <clears throat> uh, he's running out, Bob. No, no, Krampus never runs out because I have supernatural powers. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Queer. And your genes? I, well, actually, there too. Yeah. I have a very big, a uh, 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 knock burst. Uh, Krampus has a very good knock Man, this Krampus. guy stinks, Bob. He's just took enough. Wow, man. I would like to say hello. I would like to say... Oh. No, nah, never mind, never mind. I don't want to say hello to anybody. I have no... Oh! I would like to say hello to the person I am endorsing. Krampus is endorsing Bernie Sanders for president. Yeah, Yay! Bernie Sanders. Yes, I feel the burn. I always feel the burn. Naturally, you see my face is so red. I, but this time, I really feel the burn for the Bernie Sanders. Feel the burn, 2016 for uh, the you Sanders. You like him, too? Yeah, I'll yes. take him any time over any other politician. Yes, yeah, he's there. Uh, you know what? Hey, how about Hillary Clinton, Bob? That which? Uh, Hillary Clinton is basically a Republican disguised as a Democrat. Wow, like I you're like this guy. Bob. I like this undercover Bob. He's very intelligent. You, you, you must be a partially German. You're right. I think he is. He's very smart. He's a very smart guy. <laughs> you're very smart. I would smart. say so. You're very smart. Yes. Did I say that already? Yeah, he's three yeah. times. This guy notices every fucking thing I do. That's it, man. He's very smart. You are. Uh, you like German food? Some of it. 
You were like Sal Bratton. You were like, uh, oh, it, during Christmas, during Pagan the Christmas Day, we make something called stolen for dessert. Where was it stolen from? What the fuck? I know where it was stolen <laughs> from. Well, I, I mean, all I, what the hell is that? It sounds like a, a flock of Canadian geese flying overhead. Hey, here they come in formation. Oh, they're, they're, they're flying in the perfect V-shape. Here they go. Oh, they're going by. Bye-bye. No, what was I saying before I had the laugh? Uh, oh, no, you forgot your skit. No, no skit. I talk from the heart. Ooh. From the heart under my pectorals here. You got the skit in your underwear. Da, 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 da. Us Germans are in, are in great shape. Yeah. Me, what was I saying before about the... Oh, the stolen. The stolen. You asked me where it was yeah, stolen. Was stolen it is a very heavy dessert made with lots of butter. And maybe lots of eggs too. Uh, I, I'm in eggs to see when I eat the store. Yeah, that gets gas, man. Exactly. What else do you use the gas for? Well, you know the methane gas could be used. Uh, you know the the pig shit, the pig farming, and you know there's no no, no pig is safe in Germany. Yeah, I don't know. No man. pig is safe, and and the and the crap. Yeah. You can make methane gas from the from the pig shit because there's so much. Tons, so many tons of big shit. Bob, what do you use gas for? Gas? Yeah. For my car. Oh, see? Oh, so he don't I live in the garbage. garbage. He don't live in the garbage can. He has a car. Yeah. Maybe that's why he can have a car. Yeah. Why? He's on the cover Bob, man. Yeah. Well, look at the... Look at him. He could be a detective. Yeah, like uh, One of Dick Tracy's people. You know... Yeah. Uh, Hey, Hillary Clinton doesn't need a car. She has a broomstick. Yeah. <laughs> that geese again? And that uh, witch, of course, that that other witch that works with yeah. her head of the DNC, the, the the Deborah Wasser cunt shits. Ew, who's that? Wasser. Uh, she's head of no, the Deborah Webb. Yeah, she's head of the DNC. Really? She's handing all these super, these super delegates Deborah over Webb. to Hillary. She's cheating. She's cheating on my, my Bernie Sanders. Well, we got to lock Hillary in the pillory. <laughs> Let me tell you, Billary, the Billary, with that uh, alcoholic uh, uh, W.C. Fields, a uh, uh, bulbous a red nose, they look like a Rudolph the red nose and reindeer. He went into four different departing areas to cause a scene in public so people did not go and vote for the Bernie Sanders. He visited four different polling areas. But I'm, I don't want to get too much into polling, man. Well, I can easily say it like this. It's easier to find the needle in a haystack than it is to find good government in the United States. You're right. So what was he polling? So is he from Poland? From Poland? <laughs> How is he Poland? No, he's not from Poland. He's from Little Cock, Arkansas. Oh, little, so Ro little, little, little Rock? Little Rock. That's Why is he it. called Little Rock? I mean, they have small balls. That's what it's People have right? small balls and uh, small testi uh, testicles in the Arkansas. Uh, this but, guy's a pervert, huh, Bob? I uh, guess so. Hey, hey, Bob? Krampus. Krampus seduces. Krampus is more seductive than the Don Juan or the Casanova guy. Don Juan? Who's Don Juan? That's Undercover Bob. That's Undercover Bob. So, Bob, you're Don Juan, huh? Not no, quite. No, maybe he's a Don Schlong. Mm. Good, good government. Schlong. He's a German. He's a. Yeah, he's everything. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Hey, anyway. Bob, hey, Bob, could you do Mechanical Man? Show the audience Mechanical Man. You do Mechanical Man? Go on. I'll try. All right, you do it. Well, don't, don't do, do it all the right way over there. Make sure you're over here. here. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. Hey, oh, oh, yeah. All right, come on, Bob. Move that arm. Come on, do that mine. Mine. You're not doing mine. Oh, no. Yeah, you're mine. Yeah. Is it pronounced a mime or yeah. is it pronounced a mime or me? Yeah, or he's mime? lifting weights. Hey, you, hey, hey, Krampus, speaking of weights, you're a bodybuilder, huh? You bodybuild? Well, I, I do strength training. Uh, strength training. Uh, yeah, the best I can, you know, I do it. Uh, you know, Krampus is a, uh, you know. How many push ups could you do? How many push ups can I do? Push ups. I do my push ups, very strict form. Okay, so how many could you do? I don't count numbers. I do. I I go slow. 
Well, you know what? I go slow. Okay, so you, you know what? Let, let's just say you do what? 300, 400? No, no, I don't do fast cheating push-ups. Oh, no, I understand that, but you, could you do like 300? No, 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 no. I use a Shenna. I use a Shenna board from a Persia. Okay, so let's say you do 300. You know what 300 is? What? You could do 300 push-ups, you say, okay? All right, but then... All right. All right, so you say you can do 300 push-ups. You know what, Krampus? What? I think the only thing you can push up is yourself out of bed. <laughs> <laughs> the wise guy over here, this can't create. Create. The only thing he... Dumbbells. You work out with dumbbells. The only thing he creates is a sticky socks from his feet. Wow, man. That's bad. You know, uh, I, I let me tell you something. Uh... I do the old school training, you know, the Americans uh, have all this high tech yeah. stuff, I do old school. But anyway, I just want to say that uh, the, uh, the, the uh, that's not the only scam with uh, pagan Christmas. Wait, 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 I got to get back to you working out, man. Yes. Uh, all right. Uh, you bench press, right? You good bench pressing? I don't do conventional exercise. Ah, this guy. Okay, so let's. Just I say. swing. I, I I swing the Persian okay, club. Okay, so you, you all right? So you're in America and you bench 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 press a two fifty. Okay? All right, let's say two fifty. All right, so you, you bench press two fifty. You know what, there, Krampus? What? I gotta tell you something. The only thing you can press is your pants. <laughs> He's good. He, I gotta give him credit, the little bastard, the little, the, the, the little troll. He's good. He's good. What do you think, Bob? Well, don't forget, I'm half German, half Italian. <laughs> oh, what man. do you call a person who's half German and half Italian? Well, uh, a person who talks too much, half uh, 50%? No, a mess. A mess. A mess. That's a good one. The, uh, the, what is this uh, crap with the American women? They want equality when it comes to making equality. money, but when it comes to so socializing, they want the man to do everything and pay for everything. They 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 they're like a dinner horse, a dinner and drink horse. They want the guy to buy expensive dinner, expensive drink, and he's lucky. He's lucky. Maybe he get a kiss on the cheek. That's it. And that's it. And then and then she does it to another guy and another guy and another guy. It takes all his money. It takes all his money, but oh. But the, guy, the girls want to be equal. They want to make equal money. Uh, but they don't want to be equal across the board, the feminists. You, how you think about that, Bob? Bobby, if you, if you want equality, it must be across the broad. The broad, I mean the board. <laughs> <laughs> does that geese again. Hey, 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 hey Krampus, I think you better close that window, man. Them geese are flying around, man. I think they are. They might, sh they might shit on us. Ooh, Bob, what are you gonna do if they do? Then we'll be bird headed. Oh, bird headed! Wow. Hey, Bob. Hey, Bob. Uh, uh, you remember the? Uh, but anyway, that's true. That's true. You cannot have, uh, even though you may cut the cake, you cannot have your cake and eat it. And these women want the cake and eat it, yeah, they want to eat and they don't want to pay for their half of the day. You know, if you're going to pay, they get, the man should get the uh, yeah, should get the return on his investment. Yeah, yeah he should get return on his investment. Yeah, I get the other half of the cake, man. No, his knockburst, his knockburst wow. should, should get polished. Wow. He should get a polished knockburst. Well. Even with me, I can't have my cake and cut it too most of the time. Yeah. But this time it's an exception. But uh, usually yeah. it's the other way. Hey, Krampus, you pretty good with the uh, 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 jokes there? I can't. Like I can. No, I can't. Hey. I, I'm, gr I'm grouchy most of the time, but I have a you sense of humor. See that. Well, you know what? I was telling Bob the other day, my uh, one of my friend's wife had a baby. Oh, yeah? He had a baby girl. Oh, um, I give like, them my, I give, send my condolences. You know do you know what they named the baby girl? They should name her Polly Esther. Nah, they, <laughs> nah, they Polly named, Esther is the best nah. name for a girl. Polly Esther. No, they it's named, not. No, they named her Molly Ke Melancholy. You know why they named her Melancholy? Because she has a head like a melon. Yeah. Yeah. And and she has an ass like a cauliflower. No. 
Yeah, yeah, that was a good one. Though. Oh, it's because they had like a mel on the face like a collie. Melancholy. Oh, so I, I was close. I was close. Yeah, man. And that's like a freaking joke, man. Or it should be a face like a cauliflower and an ass like a melon. No, nah, man, you blew it. That, that was like my one-liner, man. I had my one minute of fame well, here. Well, you, you know what? I think Krampus is... I think you're a cramp. That's why you call Krampus. Krampus is harem of girls, fraulines. Yeah. I could smell the sauerbrot and the bratwurst and the yeah. sauerkraut. Right now, I have to go. I'm getting hungry. So I will bring... Give the show back to uh, this Ken Create guy and yeah, you. Get this sir. guy out of here, Bob. Say goodbye yeah. to that guy. I got to go by. All right. I'll be the same. Sweep him away. I'll be the same. All right. I'll my, be the same. I'll be the same. I have my coffee break. What do you think, Bob? What do you think of that guy, Krampus? He's a cramp and you know what? What's he a cramp at, Bob? Do. Yep. You got that right. Yeah, huh? Yes. All right, Bob. You know, it's, it's like it's getting kind of late here. Whoa. Hey, Bob, man. Whoa. Yeah. Man, look at that mask you got on. Yeah, don't ask. Wow. All right, you know what, Bob? I think it's about time we can uh, wrap it up because it's getting kind of late here. You know what I mean? I'll say. Hey, you got to go back to your garbage can, man. You got it. All right, so a hey, hey, Undercover Bob or Mask Bob or whatever your name is, uh, could you say goodbye? Goodbye. All right. Sayonara. Take it easy, Bobby.